Hello and welcome to Med4 Care. Today's topic is hot beverage. Let's find out together what it is. This morning, the Care family had a strange surprise at their breakfast table. A curious scientist showed up at the doorstep to measure the temperature of the tea they were drinking. Is it really that bad? Well, not at all times. But certainly drinking a hot drink, like Mrs. Care does that it can bring you harm. But, how hot must a drink have to be harmful to our esophagus, to the point that it can even lead to cancer? Is there a certain beverage temperature that can compose a danger to your health? A recent scientific study has finally given us a surprising answer, let's discover it together. A chocolate drink. A cup of coffee. Or mulled wine is among the beverages we enjoy taking warm or even hot, once and even several times a day, which could actually be bad for us. We Italians drink them, especially during winter, to help us deal with the cold. However, in other countries such as Iran and Japan, these hot beverages are drunk throughout the year. It has long been known that the consumption of very hot beverages tends to damage the tissues. For many years the correlation between the consumption of these hot drinks and the development of esophageal cancer has been known. The World Health Organization through the IARC International Agency for Research on Cancer has identified hot beverages as a carcinogen. However, the temperature and quantity of a hot and pleasant drink to pose a health issue have never been studied before to find out the temperature which makes a drink excessively hot and therefore harmful. 50,000 Iranian people have been kept under observation. Normally in Iran, there is a strong consumption of hot drinks. The study period lasted 13 years, during which scientists continuously measured the temperature of the tea each time it was served. The time elapsed between when it was served at the table and when it was drunk, the temperature of the drink exactly time of intake, and the amount of hot tea consumed daily by each one. Finally, all cases of esophageal cancer that occurred over time were observed. The result of this challenging study was that there is almost a doubling, 90%, of the risk of esophageal cancer, related to the intake of at least 700 milliliters daily of tea with a temperature above 60 degrees Celsius. While it increases up to 2.4 times among those who regularly drink 75 degrees Celsius tea. But how do hot beverages cause cancer? The heat of the drink taken daily could produce continuous inflammation and repeated cell damage that over time can affect the cellular genetic material that eventually replicates incorrectly and can lead to cancer in the long run. The same mechanism appears to occur with regular consumption of alcohol, which would damage the superficial cells of the esophagus. The study suggests that beyond the temperature of the drink, the amount of daily intake is very important. Certainly, the habit of taking hot drinks can be dangerous, while the occasional one should not cause problems. Remember not to drink a hot beverage immediately after serving, let some time pass from the moment it is poured to the moment you take a sip. This is Marco Denardin from Med4 Care. See you next time. Bye. We are now at the end of today's video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please support us with a nice like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon on Med4Care.